Yo, god damn, I'm shiny. So I decided to make a beginner guide video. So I'm gonna go over the first things that you want to do and the first gear you will want to unlock before you get into the mid game. So the first area you actually spawn in, let me go there first. So here I am. You will spawn in this beach. This is where you first spawn. This is your first starting area. Here are the, all the tutorials, like gather materials to craft, you know, like text. So whenever you spawn in, you talk to a kippy, she will give you a quest for uh, like kill a few kippies and you will get one attack and some silver I believe. Now attack is very useful, it, I mean I mean, it's still only one attack but it's very useful so you'll get one of those. Uh, these are turtlings and the kippies are the sand guys, let me find, yeah there you go. So right there that's a kippy, you just kill him like 10 times and you will I believe finish the quest so bap and there you go now you do not want to go in that cave right there uh it's more for like when you actually have sand gear so there's a forge right here you can craft some stuff now this is i believe for with yeah with sand or stone and ore so now the first thing you want to craft is go back here to this balloon thing this is your first crafting station so you'll want to craft either a spear a sword like, either one i recommend you a spear because spears have the range and the damage is a tiny bit lower but the range is very useful so after you get a sand spear i recommend you getting a sand helmet and a sand wait no i think it's just the sand helmet because the cape and the pauldron follow me so if you go right here on this pillar right here there's an npc which is i think yeah boy cardi basically and she gives you some stuff so if you get against a wall and you click q you, you will be able to climb so oops god damn it that's such an annoying ability so you climb up all the way up here and then there is your yeah, boy cardi click yes and then it, it will give you i believe an old cape I a lantern 500 silver and leather pulgents i believe so after you got that, you should be at least like level 2, level 3 by now. You could try doing uh, this uh, cave if you want to. I don't recommend you because there isn't much you can really get from there. I mean, yeah, there isn't much you can get. So right after you get your armor, your spear, you can either grind for this, which will require you to go into the cave, or you can follow me which is going up here, clicking Q again to climb up, you climb up here again, and then you go here. It, then there is this guy, the Sand Warrior, do not, you know, don't try to fight him, you will get smoked, because he's a parry god. Uh, it's like a smart AI mob, one of those guys. So uh, you will reach this place where there are skulls, so you just want to run past the skulls and then... You will end up around here, so there will be rock pigs, there will be these onion guys, so that's, that's how you know you're going to the right place. Then you want to climb up this hill, or you can just climb with Q. And then this is going to be the NPC, you don't need to talk to him, it's just an indicator you're going the right way. And there you are. Uh, that's not an enemy, by the way. And uh, yeah, this is the forest. This is where you will spend most of the time in. And like, half of my playtime is probably in this forest. Because it's mainly where you grind most of the stuff. So this is the village, I recommend you coming to this, to this house right here. And setting your location right here, set your residence, boom, there you go. And so now if you die, you will spawn right here. Uh, I'll show you around as well. Uh, there's a bank, so if you put in some amount of money, also you can put in items in here. So a lot of players don't know that you can put in items. I didn't know either myself, but there you go, you can put in. Account manager, it increases more bank capacity. Buy it once, because the first one is free. Uh, next, you will want to... It, it get this quest it kills some goblins uh this is where you buy some chests these are gods don't don't worry about them so far 
this is where you will craft your spears your weapons whatever and if you climb up this ramp this is the forge xander's forge you will be able to uh, do stuff and you repair your gear here uh if you click e you will see your armor so my armor is on 99.3 percent uh, and then there is this weaves master you will be able to craft uh, armor like equipment uh turtle shell alt cape whatever you will be able to craft that here rex slayer helmet oh that's pretty good actually but it's very expensive then if you also have some spare silver you can uh, rent a horse here for 100 it's very fast i recommend you getting it if you are gonna be grinding and if you come over here uh this is very important hunter's guild right here there is a npc in this tiny shed thing goblin slayer talk to him uh, he will give you a quest, I believe, to kill like 50 goblins, and then after that, 250 goblin meat, and then he will give you a goblin slayer helmet, which is a very, very good helmet. It's the second best helmet, I believe, and this evil helmet is the best in the game, but I believe it's the second best in the game, so I recommend you getting that very, like, quickly, so, yeah. Now, a little bit on to the classes. If you are gonna be wanting to level up some class, let's say fists, you will want to talk to this person. It's the martial arts fist can, and you will be able to unlock that. If you want to be a what is this? Wait, wait, who are you? Okay, that's a thing. A quest guy. This is the spear one, which is the one that I've maxed. So there are five or six, I believe, per. And then on top there is the sword can, I believe. Yes, it's the sword god. So this is where you unlock the sword stuff, and this is kind of the three simple um, gods. There are more, uh, of course. There are also gun ones, but uh, yeah. I think this is it for the beginner guide. Uh, like I said, after you're here, I recommend you just kill goblins and do this quest over and over again until you finish the goblin slayer quest. And just finish the Goblin Slayer quest, and in the next video, I'll probably make a mid-game uh, guide, which will probably be going into the deep forest, and the, the cave, and deep cave, and uh, yeah. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it's helpful, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, do all the good stuff, and uh, yeah, see ya.